Howdy folks, welcome back. Keith Hurst here again. In this video, we're going to go about showing you how to add portraits into Fantasy Grounds so you have more than just uh, the ones that come with it. So let's, and there will be another video later in which I'll show you how to make your portraits. But for now, let's say, assume that you have found uh, some images that you want to be uh, portraits, which um, I believe, well, let's find out here, they need to be, oh, hold on, let's see what format here, PNGs it looks like for a portrait, okay, so anyhow, alright, so let's go back in, and this is looking at the client version of Fantasy Grounds. So, uh, you've gone in, uh, create a character, but we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that again. So, let's see here, let me uh, release that. Okay. So, you go to PC, and then you can click the plus button to create a new one, or you could, well, yeah, so it's just the plus button here. Alright, so once you have uh, made a new character, you click on the portrait, it opens it up, and it puts it over here. And then you click it again, and then you open it up, and this is here where you'll name it, and it'll show up over here. Before that, it'll just be unnamed. Okay, so we're working on putting a portrait in. So this box here, which is blacked out, which will be this square, is what we're going to work on. We're going to show you how to add portraits for the fantasy grounds. We're going to click the portrait. Inside here, there's a button that says folder up here in the top. Uh, otherwise, these are the only portraits that come with the game as is. Uh, that doesn't cost you anything. Um, there are portrait packs you can buy from the store within Fantasy Grounds. Uh, you can also go out on the internet and grab up all kinds of portraits. And I have found a bunch, and I'm going to put them in. So I'm going to click folder. It's going to open that up. Okay, so this is inside the computer, um, and this is the directory to get to uh, where your portraits are. Alright, so I've already uh, got my portraits over here, so I'm going to select them all, I'm going to copy them, close that, and I'm just going to paste the images in here. Um, and we'll skip the files that are repeats. And now I should have access to all these portraits here. And there's going to be many more that I'll put in later. Uh, oh, wow. i got some interesting ones in here. Okay. So we're going to close that. Okay. So now we're back uh, to Fantasy Grounds. So if I click this uh, portrait window again, now when it opens up, all those images are available to be as a portrait. Let's say I want to grab... Let's see here. Let's go with a half orc. Mm. These are some really old portraits, too. There we go. A half orc right there. So we'll just click it, and he's now there, and you'll see up here is now the poster, uh, portrait for this character, which currently I'm naming him Ghost, as he's a fictitious player. Alright, and that is how easy it is to add in a portrait to Fantasy Grounds. In a later video, I'll show you some tricks uh, that you can use to find an image that you want and uh, make it into a portrait. Anyhow, I uh, hope you enjoyed. And you know, take care, and we'll talk to you later.